What's up guys, this is AppleTech752 and welcome back to another iCloud Bypass tutorial. Today I have a 2018 MacBook Pro that is stuck on the macOS Setup Assistant Activation Lock page. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to completely bypass this type of activation lock and do a clean install of macOS on your machine and get everything perfectly working like it's a brand new MacBook. Without much further ado, I'm going to jump straight into it. The interesting thing about this process is that we are going to be using two MacBooks to perform the bypass. For my purposes, the MacBook on top is the locked one, as you saw in the beginning of the video. This is the one we're going to be bypassing. And the one on the bottom is a perfectly working MacBook. This is the one I use normally to edit all my videos. So if you have a MacBook like this, where it's the 2013 model, and it has this port and a USB and a headphone jack, and you want to connect it to your newer Mac that only has two USB-C ports, then you're going to need a cable that looks something like this. It goes USB-C to USB. And the most important thing about this cable is that it must support data transfer. It cannot just be a charging cable or else it will not function properly. And what we're going to do is simply connect it to this port right here and then connect the other side to the USB port. And as you can see, we are now able to connect our older Mac that is perfectly activated and working to the newer Mac that we're going to bypass. If you're trying to connect two newer Macs to each other, meaning both Macs have USB-C, you cannot use a standard charging cable. The standard charging cable does not support data sync. So you'll need to go on amazon.com or on some other site and find a specific cable that supports USB-C to USB-C data transfer. Now just a quick heads up, this is a paid method. So before you all go spam the comments about that, just hear me out real quick. The developer worked really hard on this and it's not nearly as simple as the GSM bypass or the MEID method. It involves a ton of low level commands in DFU mode and the result is a fully functional MacBook with literally everything working. And when I mean everything, I mean everything. It's not like one of those bypasses where maybe a few things will work, a few things won't work. Your entire Mac OS is going to be literally brand new factory stock OS. So if you still want to proceed, just follow along with me and I'll teach you everything. First, we're going to go over to our web browser and go to checkmate.info. Here, we're going to scroll down until we find this specific page that says bypass Mac activation lock screen. Here we're going to click on learn more and it's going to redirect us to this page where we can download the software. Just click that orange button and in your downloads you will find a zip file. Go ahead and close your web browser and drag this zip file out onto your desktop. Here we're going to double click it and click continue, install and enter your password when prompted. And this is going to install the Checkmate MacBook Bypass software on your computer. Just like this, the installation was successful, so we can close. And now let's go over to our launch pad, scroll over, and we will find the macOS Bypass software. And just like this, it's telling us to connect our locked macOS device into DFU mode. Alright, so now that we have the software all set up on our host Mac, we're going to go ahead and put our locked Mac into DFU mode. And this process is fairly simple, I'm going to walk you through it right now. All you got to do is hold down the control key, the option key, the power button, which is right up here in the top right corner, and the right shift key. So once again, that's the control key right down here, the option key, the power key, and the shift key. So we're going to go ahead and hold all of these for 8 seconds. And then after eight seconds, we'll let go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we let go. So just like that, we should be in DFU mode now. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and connect my other Mac using the cables. 
Alright, so if you've done everything right so far, then you should have a setup that looks sort of like this. We're going to have our working MacBook on the left and our locked MacBook on the right. This configuration is very important because what I'm about to show you is critical to the success of this method. Over here, we actually have two ports on this MacBook, and we must connect to the lower of the two ports on the left side. If you do not connect to this exact port, then the method simply will not work. So as you can see right now, I am plugging the USB-C cable into this specific port down here. I'll zoom in and give you a really nice close look at that exact port. And now we're gonna go ahead and plug the other side of the cable into our USB port on whatever side you want of our working MacBook that's hosting the software. And you may get a message that looks just like this. It says, cannot use Thunderbolt accessory. Do not be afraid of that message. It's actually totally fine. All we have to do is go ahead and put this Mac in DFU mode one more time, and then we're gonna be all set and ready to go. So we already entered DFU mode one time, but usually when you plug in the Mac, it's gonna reboot to this screen and it's gonna show a spinning globe and some text. If it doesn't, then you can go ahead and manually reboot it and just get it to this screen. And now we're gonna enter DFU mode again. So let's click on control option, left side control option, and power and shift. This is the exact same DFU mode process. And we're gonna hold them one, two, three, four, five, six. And as you can see, the software says device is detected. And if you look over here at the touch bar, it's actually gonna start jailbreaking, which is the best part. Look at that. We have a jailbreak running on the touch bar. This Mac is being jailbroken as we speak. And just like this, the software now says we are ready to start the bypass you will probably be taken to a screen that looks something like this. And I'm gonna show you how to get a great deal on this method. All you have to do is enter the promo code, AppleTech752, all lowercase, and you're gonna be able to get 25% off this service. And of course, the software will only tell you it's supported if it actually is supported. So after you made the payment, and after you're back here where it says start, then all we're gonna do is click on start and let's start the removal process. And just like this, it says, your device has been successfully bypassed and we need to complete the following steps. So let's press the power button on the Mac OS keyboard and wait till it boots into the recovery mode. We're gonna do that right now. And here we are on this screen where it is going to ask us for a Wi-Fi network. However, the unusual thing about this type of Wi-Fi network is that you need a network that doesn't have a login page. So if you have something with a captive portal and it says like enter your email address and accept terms and conditions to log in, for example, this network right here is a guest network, then it's simply going to give you a screen that looks something like this apple.com slash support negative 301F. So what I'm gonna do, because unfortunately all of my Wi-Fi networks are the login networks that require authentication, I'm gonna go drive somewhere and use my personal hotspot to configure this. All right, I just drove somewhere where there's good cell reception and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my personal hotspot right now. And now that the hotspot is on, we can go ahead and connect to it. You need to use the arrow keys on the keyboard to actually select your network. So I'll select Apple Tech Hotspot. Now we're gonna enter the password. And just like this, we're connected to the hotspot. And our computer is gonna now show a globe with a little progress bar. And that's gonna continue for about 20 minutes 
It really depends on how fast your network is. And once that's done, I'll show you guys the finished result. Just remember the most important thing is never press that power button and wait for this globe and you should be all set. And just like this, we are all finished with the globe and we are now at the setup assistant. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the next button. And just like this, we are now in the Mac OS recovery. Notice there is no more activation lock. So all we're gonna do is click on reinstall Mac OS and continue. And just like this, we should be prompted to reinstall Catalina. And let's click on continue. And now we can agree to the terms and conditions and click agree. Let's select the disk and then click install. And it does say you must plug into a power source to continue. And I am in my car where I don't have a power outlet. So I'm gonna go back up to the studio and I'll continue filming up there. We're back in the studio. I did plug into power and we were able to join a good Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna go ahead and install macOS Catalina. It says about 23 minutes remaining. So I'm gonna speed up the video and I'll show you guys the good part. and the installation just finished. And we are now on this gray screen. Let's see, we are inside of the setup assistant. So I'm gonna scroll down and select the United States. And now I'm gonna select my Wi-Fi network. And here we are on data and privacy. Notice there is no activation lock. So I'm gonna click on continue and don't transfer any information right now. And now we're gonna skip the Apple ID step set up later and skip terms and conditions we'll agree to those and now we're going to create a computer account and i've just created a computer account so i'm going to click continue and for express setup let's customize settings and we're not going to enable location services continue continue Continue, set up later. Let's choose the dark mode. And just like this, it is setting up our Mac. Let's see the final result. Here we are on Mac OS Catalina. And just to show you that we are now fully bypassed, I'm gonna go over to my web browser and go to appletech752.com. And here we are on my official webpage on our brand new MacBook. This is it guys. We are here, we are on macOS Catalina and we are fully bypassed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome iCloud bypass content. You can also follow me on Twitter at Sliver752 and on Instagram at AppleTech752. And if you have any questions or get stuck with something, you can always make a community post at reddit.com slash r slash setup app. Until next time, have a great day, guys, and peace out.